Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a Thai survival thriller film called The Pool. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. At the beginning of the movie, a man named Day wakes up lying in a drained swimming pool. He has several injuries all over his body. He looks at his palm to see it is severely wounded as well. As Day looks down, he sees a crocodile biting on his leg. He screams in fear when the creature drags him. The two struggle, but Day manages to kick the animal off of his foot. He drags himself away from the crocodile and hits its head several times with a bucket. A dog chained outside the pool barks while watching the commotion. The crocodile turns around and leaves Day alone. As the camera zooms out, we see Day is stuck in a deep pool with no stairs to get out. Cut to six days ago, the same pool was filled completely with water. Day is helping with a photo shoot taking place in the pool. A sofa is dropped into the water where a model in Joker makeup poses. Day's girlfriend, Koi, arrives at the shoot with their dog, Lucky. Day had been told to bring Lucky as a prop for the photo shoot. Day is diabetic, so he goes to a corner to take his insulin shot, where Koi follows him. She jokes about being pregnant, which unsettles Day. They take the dog to the shoot, which goes extremely well. The crew takes a picture together and leaves. The following day, Day is at the pool with Lucky again. He is there to clean the aftermath of the shoot and seal the place since no one will be there for a long time. Before cleaning, he rests on his floaty inside the pool. Day's friend and the pool's supervisor, Mayom, is also there and has his luggage packed. He is going out of town for the next three months and is there to say his goodbye. He pulls a lever down to drain the water from the pool, then ties Lucky with a chain to a pole nearby. Before he leaves, Day asks him to order a pizza. Mayom agrees and walks out of the place while telling Day to come out of the water quickly because he has drained it. Day mistakenly falls asleep on his floaty, not noticing the water level in the pool decreasing. Some time later, he is woken up by Lucky barking. He finally notices the water level and swims towards the edge to get out of the pool but realizes he is too deep inside to step out. Day tries climbing up the pool but is unsuccessful. He even breaks one of his fingernails in the process. He then brings the floaty to help him climb, but it doesn't work either. He yells for help, but the camera zooms out to show us that no one is around. Day's cell phone is right at the edge of the swimming pool. Suddenly, it starts vibrating and moving towards the edge. Day happily waits for it to fall, ready to catch it, but just then, Lucky trips into the pool and hangs on its edge by the leash. Day swims over to the other edge and helps Lucky get back up with the help of the floaty. His phone falls, but is hung up by the charger. Day quickly rushes to get it, but the water level has gone lower. As he tries to reach the phone, it falls into the water and stops working. Day then plans to stop further draining of the water by covering the drainage ventilation with his robe. Just when he goes inside the water to do that, a delivery boy arrives to deliver him his pizza. He looks around and sees no one. Then, the boy calls Mayom to ask him what he should do. Mayom advises the man to keep the pizza there and leave. Meanwhile, Day's belt gets stuck to the ventilation. Before he can come out of the water, the delivery man leaves. Day still believes that someone will come to look for him soon. Without thinking about it much, he again falls asleep on his floaty. Sometime later, Koi arrives at the pool and doesn't notice the water level. She gets on a platform and is ready to jump into the pool when Day wakes up and asks her to stop. A startled Koi slips from the platform, hits her head, and falls into the pool. When Day brings her out, she is unconscious. He lays her in the floaty and uses the robe to stop her head from bleeding. It is now nighttime and the water level has gone dangerously low. No one has come to their aid yet. Day tries inspecting Koi's wounds and sees a chunk of her flesh in his hands. Just then, Lucky starts to bark loudly. A crocodile crawls out of the maintenance room and moves towards the dog. Day notices the creature and asks Lucky not to bark anymore. Before the crocodile can reach Lucky, it trips and falls into the pool. Now, Day is stuck in a pool with a crocodile and an injured girlfriend. The night passes, and in the morning, the pool is fully dry. Koi has still not regained consciousness. The crocodile is sleeping with its mouth open on the other side of the pool. Day suddenly notices a positive pregnancy test in Koi's pocket and figures out that she is pregnant. Surprised, he tells Koi's unconscious body that everything will be okay. He inspects her injury and sees that it is still bleeding. He then approaches the sleeping crocodile, which has a duct tape roll inside his mouth. Mayom had thrown the duct tape roll to Day before leaving. 
Day manages to take the tape out of the creature's mouth, but wakes it up in the process. The crocodile growls at Day, but he runs back to Koi in time. He uses the duct tape and a piece of his robe to cover Koi's injury and stop it from bleeding. He had collected a bucket full of pool water for them to drink. Day then plans to open the pool's vent and crawl his way outside through a tunnel. He opens the vent's cover and goes back to check on Koi. Before he can return, the crocodile crawls into the tunnel. Day waits for a long time for it to return, but when it doesn't, he takes the risk and goes into the vent himself. He then crawls through the tunnel and finds an exit that is locked from outside. Just then, the crocodile crawls back to the pool and towards Koi. Day rushes back and drags the creature by its tail. The crocodile doesn't attack him back. Koi finally gains her consciousness back and calls for Day. She tells Day about the pregnancy as he stays beside her. It is now nighttime. Koi is resting on the sofa that was used for the photo shoot. Day notices Lucky eating the pizza outside. The dog throws the box of pizza into the pool for his owners. Day and Koi finally eat for the first time in three days. On the fourth day, they run out of drinking water. Day falls unconscious and stays like that the whole day. He wakes up at night to Koi looking at him. Day asks her if the crocodile gave her trouble. Koi replies that the crocodile is a female who laid eggs during the day. It starts to rain, giving the couple an opportunity to gather more water. The following morning, the crocodile makes its way to a sleeping day, but falls into the vent before reaching him. Day pushes the creature inside and covers the vent. Then, the two try starting a fire with the pieces of dried grass and Day's glasses. They boil the crocodile eggs and devour them. At night, the two mount the sofa and get on top of it in an attempt to escape, but they cannot reach the top. They sit together, talking about various things, when Day reveals that he wanted Koi to have an abortion if she got pregnant. A heartbroken Koi slaps Day as he tries to console her. They know that they cannot survive in the sun for another day. The following day, they open the vent and the crocodile returns to the pool. Koi quickly gets inside as the crocodile goes towards its eggs. Seeing that its egg has been stolen, it attacks Day. But Day manages to escape into the tunnel and close it before the creature can get him. Day has not had an insulin shot in several days and is getting sick. They see an insulin injection that Mayom had placed on a table nearby through the vent. Day tries using a string of wire to get the injection near them, but instead, it falls and breaks into pieces. The couple cry in vain, with no way out. Day then notices his case of insulin on the floor. As it turns out, Mayom had accidentally dropped it into the vent the last time he was there. He injects himself with the medicine. Later, the two notice a parachute flying over the pool. Day asks Koi to use a barrel to close the entrance of the tunnel and goes out to call for help himself. When he gets back to the pool, he screams that the parachute was just a kid's toy. He screams for help in the hopes of someone hearing him. A strong wind makes a wired clothes hanger fall into the pool. Day tries using it to climb and is happy when the wire holds his weight. His palms get injured, but he doesn't stop climbing. Just when he is about to reach the top, the wire detaches, making him fall back. An injured Day falls unconscious. He wakes up on day six and looks at his injured palm. Same as the very first scene from the movie, the crocodile drags Day by his legs. He manages to free himself and crawls to the sofa, but his leg is hurt, so he rests before going back to Koi. At night, it starts to rain. Since the tunnel is blocked, the place Koi is in starts to flood. She bangs the barrel to call Day back. Day hears her and crawls back into the tunnel. This time, he decides to go to the other end of the tunnel and finds a vent there too. He somehow manages to break it open and happily steps out. However, he is soon washed over by disappointment. It turns out that the facility had two swimming pools and he just entered the second one. It is just as deep as the first one and has no way out. It is now the seventh day. Two people come to the pool looking for their parachute-like toy, but both Day and Koi are out of sight. They enter the pool through a ladder and get their toy. The crocodile is hidden under the sofa so they cannot see it. Day hears the men talking and yells for help, but when he reaches the top, they are already gone. But the ladder is still there. It starts to rain again as he limps towards the ladder, but before he can reach it, Day is attacked by the crocodile. The place Koi is in is almost completely flooded. The crocodile is about to kill Day, but Koi suddenly pops out of the water and starts whistling. Seeing Koi alive gives Day further fuel to live on, and he gets away from the crocodile just at the right moment. Day walks towards the ladder again, but the barrel the ladder was attached to rolls away, taking the ladder with it. Day's last hope for survival is gone. 
Just then, Koi's whistling attracts Lucky, as the same whistle was used to train the dog. Day warns Lucky not to jump, but his efforts are in vain. The poor dog, still tied to a chain, tries to jump into the pool and ends up hung by its neck. A helpless Day looks on and whimpers in pain as Lucky slowly dies of suffocation. Day then loses his cool, and in a fit of rage, he finally kills the crocodile by stabbing it with a pole. Day is left devastated after the encounter, but he still has to save Koi. He gathers a lot of courage and does the unthinkable by climbing out of the swimming pool using the dead Lucky and his chain. Day is finally outside the pool after seven days of struggle. He quickly rushes to the vent where Koi is and sees it is completely filled with water. He finds a large pipe nearby and tries to open the vent, but as it opens, he loses his balance and almost falls down the same pool. Luckily, he manages to hang on to the edge and uses his sheer will to climb up. He then quickly dives in and brings an unconscious Koi out. At first, it seems that Koi is dead, but after administering CPR and a lot of effort, he finally manages to save her. The movie ends as the two finally hug. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.